Hello, I'm going to explain how to set up your gradebook to have weighted categories, or as Moodle calls it, weighted mean of grades. So, this is the entry page for the course. We'll go to Grades under Administration. And we'll see that a number of grades already exist in this course. What we want to do is to organize them so that each of the, the different areas, exams for instance, or assignments, have a particular weight uh, out of the uh, course total. So we'll do this by clicking on Categories and Items. Okay, here we can see there are five exams, three assignments, a group project, uh, three discussions and a debate, and that's a discussion as well. So in order to put them into categories, in order to weight them, we have to add those categories first. So let's select Add a Category. Okay, we'll call this Exams. And we'll leave this as Simple Weighted Mean of Grades. Okay, and you'll see that my category has been added here now. What I want to do is to move those exams into this category. So to do that, I will just click on the Move button. Exam 1, I want that to go in the exam category, the purple category here. So I just click on that box, and we'll see that my exam has gone there. I'll do that with exam 2, put it below exam 1, and there it lives. On 3, I have a little bit of reorganization to do here. But once you've done it once or twice, it becomes very quick and easy to do. And the next category, exam 5. OK, so my exams are organized in an exam category. I now need one for assignments. So I click on Add a Category again, select Assignments, Assignments. And again, simple weighted mean of grades. It's important to keep these consistent. Um, you want to have simple weighted mean of grades throughout for this. Okay, I'll do the same with my assignments. Assignment 1. Assignment 2. And assignment 3. Simple weighted mean of grades. Okay, we'll add another category. Discussions. Simple weighted mean of grades. There we go. Let's move our discussions into the discussion section. Debate is a discussion. So I'll move that down here as well. And I'll click that. Okay, and the last category for the group project. And I'll make that simple weighted mean of grades. Save changes and move this down into the group project area. OK, so now I have four categories, exams, assignments, discussions, and projects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this category here to weighted mean of grades. This allows me then to give each of these categories a weight um, out of a, a, a total of 100% for the course that uh, overrides the, the individual points that are assigned to each of these assignments. So let's say we want the exams to be worth 30% of the course. Um, assignments can be worth 20% of the course. Discussions, 
30% of the course, and the group project, 20% of the course. Okay. I might just recalculate the uh, the maximum grade in the category totals so that they're accurate. So that's 60, 150. Sixty and one hundred. Okay, so the points are accurate, the category totals are accurate, and that's important when it's uh, being displayed. And then the weight for each of these items is calculated out of one hundred. So the setup is weighted mean of grades for the entire grade book, and then Within each area, simple weighted mean of grades is the, the aggregation method for the category. Okay, we'll save those changes. Okay, so we want to make one last change in order to display a, a running total, a percentage total. If we go to settings, if we click on settings above here, and then change the grade display type to percentage letter and then show percentage there's no need to show percentage if we're showing it already so I would hide that and then save those changes okay so now if we go to see what it looks like for the students if we click on user report We'll see there is our, our different categories, exams, assignments, discussions, group project. We'll select our user here, our student test. We'll see that this was the score that they received for the assignment so far, and the current one.